What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and this one we are headed to a local card show here in Louisville, Kentucky. Feels like a long time since I have been to a card show. Honestly, I don't even remember the last time I think. Uh, today is October 28th. I think the last one I went to was probably back in September. So it's been quite a while. Excited to get back to a card show. Um, honestly, today there's not really anything in particular I'm looking for. I'm just going to go uh, you know, see what I see, talk to people. If anything catches my eye that I have to have, I might pick it up. Uh, but there's actually, uh, so this is the J and J all-star card show. Typically it is later in the month. However, in November, um, it actually got moved up a couple weeks because of Thanksgiving. So this show will actually be happening again in two weeks. I believe it's November 11th or 12th and the whatnot, uh, whatnot is doing a virtual card show the following weekend. So it's actually perfect timing. Not picking up, not planning on picking up a ton of stuff today, but at the show in two weeks, I'm planning on picking up a ton of stuff. I will be live on whatnot for their virtual card show. I'll have, uh, you know, a lot more details coming soon in the next couple of weeks, but I will be back here in a couple of weeks planning to pick up a ton of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's just kind of the game plan for today. We're just going to kind of go and see what we see. Um, I don't have any cash on me at the moment, so I'm going to head to the ATM, grab some cash, because if you guys remember the last show I went to, people were really weird about taking like Venmo and PayPal, so I definitely want to have at least some cash with me. Uh, so let's head to the ATM, and then we'll head on to the show. Alright guys, so just hit up the ATM. We picked up $200, so nothing crazy. Again, I just basically want to have that in case I see something that I absolutely need. I'm not even sure if today I'm going to pick anything up at all. Uh, but I did forget to mention I, I do have my Zion case over here. So I will be looking to see if anyone is interested in a potential trade as well. Uh, so we'll see what happens, but uh, we got our cash, so let's head on over to the show. All right, so we just pulled into the show. It is uh, 9.20, so the show did start at 9, so we're running a little bit late, but again, we had to go pick up some cash. Uh, so judging from the uh, amount of cars in the parking lot, looks like a pretty decent turnout. So uh, yeah, you guys already know what we're after, pretty much just anything that catches my eye. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and head on in and we'll see what we can find. What's up, man? How you doing? All right. Good, good. Hey, I got a, I got a bid on that, uh, on that Chamberlain, man. Oh, do you really? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it was funny. Once I posted that, that once I posted that video, I started getting a lot of bids on those cards. I'm gonna win that. Okay. Good, good. How you doing, Frank? Pretty good. How are you doing? Frank, five out two's in the building. What's up? How are you? I'm pretty good, man. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. See something. Okay, sure. Who are you picking up? Basketball? Um, honestly, just whatever I see that catches my eye. That's Nothing in particular today. That's how I am. Yeah. I got a little bit of everything. I got Star Wars. I yeah, got, it looks uh, like it. And I got, yeah, I got some uh, NFL stuff. Okay. Sounds good. Well, good luck, man. Right, Appreciate it. Hey, how's it going? That's me. What's up? Watch your YouTube video. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I told you probably to me. I said I need probably a uh, Chick fil A getting his breakfast sandwich <laughs> from the car show doing his video. I actually went to Panera today. But <laughs> yeah, usually it's Chick fil A. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I just grabbed a little bit I had at the house. And came. This is my first one. Oh, really? 
I just sell mine on eBay. Yeah. Basically. It's a good hobby. It's fun to, fun to, fun to mess with. For sure. What do you get on the Brady? Man, one just sold yesterday for three twenty-three. Okay. I mean, I got three hundred on it. I'm okay. Here offers. Okay. I was just kind of curious. I'm still working on my first lap around, so I might come back. I appreciate it. So I'm interested in those two. Okay. I mean, would you want to do like a hundred bucks in those two for the Mahomes? You were at 150, those are like 50 bucks right there. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, all right. Got a whole stack of Genesis I bought over here today. <laughs> yeah, nice. Can't go wrong with Genesis. Yeah. All right, I appreciate yeah, it. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank you. Oh wow, oh, nice. A while back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, I sent in my Micah Parsons out of a green out of five. We got oh, a yeah. ten as well. Oh, did it? So that nice. stuff must grade pretty good. Yeah, it does. It seems to. Yeah, that's a nice one, man. Appreciate it. Alright guys, just wanted to check in real quick from the show. Here is how it's looking. Uh, this side over here, pretty empty. Uh, but the majority of the rest of the show is pretty uh, crowded as far as like dealers and people attending. So uh, I've just completed my first lap. Definitely saw some cards I liked. I made a deal for one card so far. Uh, so we're gonna go back around, work on lap number two, and see if we can pick up, pick up anything else. So you, you want to hold on to the the Rogers, or you want to let it go? Well, I don't know. I probably. Are you? You're not. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna grade it? Maybe. I don't, honestly, I don't know. I'm, I get, I'm just kind of looking for like the rare case yeah, stuff. Yeah, so you gonna put it in something? Maybe, it's maybe that or or grade it. I don't know. Cause like the Mahomes, I don't even look at it. So I don't know. You guys just name it to me. But I mean, they're doing like a hundred, so if you wanted to do like eighty on it, I could do that. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Right, yeah. Now. Right. But they're talking about him maybe being able to come like, back. Yeah. That's what I heard. So that's why I was kind of thinking about it. Yeah. Sorry, man. No, it's okay. It's like I didn't look his rating on that one either. The Zion. Yeah, that's the other one I was kind of thinking about. Pull that. Dude, our auto was freaking. Dad, you have a poster. Richard McGinnis or something. Oh, like five bucks. Is that is that this year's yeah, flux? What's that out of? Is that out of? Hey, look at this Pedri. Oh, the manga. What do you want to do on this one? Hold it. Or? No, I mean that's. I'll do. Is that the Zion? Yeah. Would you do? 250 for both of those? No, I was going to keep it. Oh, you would? We have a player off your own. Uh, 110 on the dial. How much? 110. 110. We have an offer for uh, 115 right now. Okay. I was I was thinking 100 on it. What about 105? Can you do that? I, I literally have a I literally have $100 cash. That's all. That's cool. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. That's all, literally all I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. If y'all are here, if y'all are here in two weeks, I'll be buying a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So just walked out of the show. It is almost eleven, so I was probably in there about an hour and a half. Did I don't know, maybe two or three laps around the show. Definitely some nice stuff, but again, today 
the goal was really just to go and you know check it out see if there was anything that i had to have i uh, did make some uh, you know i made a couple really nice pickups uh what i picked up are super short print and case hit stuff so potentially if i want to do a another super short print fire pack series in the future i can use those or i might potentially you know grade the cards so i did only make two pickups so nothing too crazy spent exactly the 200 dollars that i brought as well as a partial trade i think i got those transactions on camera i'm not 100 percent sure so i'll go home review the footage and hopefully you know everything comes out okay uh but let's go ahead and head on home i'll show you guys uh the cards that we picked up and talk a little bit more about the show all right, guys, and we have made it back home from the show. So I'm recording this clip on the following day. Uh, I want to go ahead and get this recorded, show you guys what I picked up, and talk a little bit about the show uh, so I can go ahead and get this video uploaded. So as I mentioned uh, in previous clips, I did only make two pickups uh, at this particular show, which, you know, I didn't really have a, a goal of picking anything up. I You know, I took $200 cash, and that was basically if I just found anything uh, that I really wanted or was a really good deal, something like that. So the two cards that I did pick up, one is a super short print, low numbered to eight, and then the other one is a case hit. So uh, the super short print fire pack series I did uh, about a week or two ago was really successful. It sold out well before the basketball series I did. So people seem to really like the the uh, super short print series better than the basketball series. So going forward, I will probably do that if I continue with fire packs, just because for one, it seems to be more popular. And two, it was a lot more fun uh, for me to put together searching for, you know, super rare stuff, case hits, uh, just more fun than, uh, you know, trying to get really good deals on either, uh, you know, like mid end basketball or football. So anyway, that's a little bit about, you know, what I picked up show overall was pretty decent uh there were some new dealers there who i had never seen before um so it's always nice to get some fresh cards in there uh fresh faces uh turnout as far as like people attending the show was pretty solid as well it show usually gets going about 30 minutes to an hour after it starts at nine uh which the, you know that was uh, pretty much what happened to this one. Did pick up about an hour after it started. So uh, as I said earlier in the video, there will actually be another J&J &J, um, All-Star card show on, I believe, November 11th, which is in two weeks because typically it is later in the month. But with Thanksgiving in November, they did move it up. And um, I will be buying cards at that show for the whatnot virtual card show, which will be the following weekend. So anyone who uh, is planning on setting up at this show in two weeks, um, you know, I will be there buying very, very heavy. I will have a lot of money. Very, very excited to uh, be able to go to the show and give back to you know, people that I'm friends with, people that I've made deals with for many years. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Uh, that will probably be one of my favorite shows ever. So uh, if you're thinking about setting up at the next show and you know me, we've done deals in the past, you probably want to set up. So I just want to throw that out there. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the pickups. Picked up two cards. Uh, <coughs> this one was bought from uh, Connors and one cards i've made many de many deals with him before him and his dad um so this is the um zion out of this year's brand new flux first off the line this is a first off the line exclusive numbered four of eight so zion stuff super super risky never know if he's going to be able to stay healthy or not but we are two games into the nba season and he has put up like i think 24 points and like 26 or 28 something like that so he seems to be playing pretty well so far this season if he can stay healthy i mean obviously just a ton of upside here and <coughs> excuse me Connor did say this one looked pretty clean, so if they didn't actually sell it, they were probably going to grade it. Uh, they did have this one on eBay for 150. They were looking for 125 at the show. I did go ahead and pick this one up for 100, uh, mainly because that's actually all the cash I had left. So I was literally like, I can do 100, that's it, and they ended up taking it. So shout out to them. Appreciate the deal there. And then the other card I picked up, this one was actually part cash, part trade. So Patrick Mahomes mosaic stained glass. Um, this one is honestly probably my least favorite stained glass design. 
Uh, really, really like this year's with like the logo in the background. Want to get a Lamar for sure. Uh, but still a very, very nice looking car. Not super common. Uh, comps on this one were about $140. So I actually ended up giving him $100 cash and then just some lower end cards that I had available for trade. Um, <laughs> I think the total I ended up coming to was about 150 bucks. And he actually said um, he had a pretty good amount into the card. So he didn't really want to let it go for like 130 140 so anyway we did 100 cash and then 50 in trade so 150 bucks there so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with these i might potentially look at these for grading uh you know might just hold on to them for the next fire pack series i have no idea when that might be um so anyway yeah that's what i picked up nothing too crazy um so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up hopefully you guys enjoyed and definitely definitely be on the lookout for the next show in two weeks very, very excited about that. We'll be buying very, very heavy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you soon.